So we're in Tongatapu, uh, which is not a major cruising destination. And the services here are something to be improved on, for sure. So we're having to fill up our water tank with water um, because we obviously have a broken water maker. Using these 20 litre bottles um, that we've picked up from the supermarket. And the boys are busy pumping fuel down the back end of the boat with big 200 litre diesel tanks. Can't spill that precious water. Well, we've finally all finished. We've cleared out of Tonga. We've filled up with diesel, filled up with water, as much as we need anyway. And now we're heading to a delicious cafe to have our last meal on land before we head out later this afternoon. So we're just preparing for our 1,100 nautical mile crossing from Tonga to New Zealand. Super, super excited. We are finally going home. This is our last stretch. Uh, we have got two awesome crew joining us, Willie and Tim. And we're heading off this evening because uh, it's about 260 nautical miles to Minerva Reef, which we are hoping to stop off at if the weather allows. So it's about a day and a half sail. Um, so we're going to leave this evening uh, once it gets dark after dinner and hopefully arrive first thing in the morning in a day or so. How was your first night, Ting? Epic. Yeah, first uh, first experience of uh, offshore yachting, doing uh, outside shift, of land. shift work and yeah, outside of land. Um, had a great couple of sleeps actually. <laughs> uh, Most like a baby. Nice. It's taken to the helm like an absolute natural. Lovely boat to steer. Yeah. And excellent food on board, I have to say. Well, we've already had breakfast so far. <laughs> the neighbors woke to a scream. Check it again, might it be what it seems. And I've been saving for a rainy day. So we might be okay. But pinch me, cause Gabby, this feels like a dream. And she said, trust me, I know. Well, he's the new tea man. The best that's got is. <laughs> Helping a girl out. Dish bitch. <laughs> had probably so far on this uh, little crossing to Minerva, had the best weather we've ever had. Uh, 12 to 18 knots, 132 wind angle, and a rather calm sea, so it's been beautiful. And uh, this morning the wind's dropped off to less than 10 knots, so we've turned the motor on so we can get to Minerva quickly to enjoy and explore the reef there. 26 miles to go. 26 miles to Willie uh, holds in a few GTs for us. Back then, big things from the uh, big game that's been caught. We're going to motor circles around the island until we catch a fish. So it could be two, could be three days till we actually go inside the adult. <laughs> Let's be prepared. Just changing uh, to a Rapala. What's that? Does this go? Apparently, the noise he makes has been working well for the cruisers we hear. So, I want to try and copy them. Oh, it looks like a splashing fish. Don't wait for it to dig into the water. Who knows 
We've arrived and it's every bit as gorgeous as we thought it would be. The neighbours walk to a shop. Just pack your stuff now if you still haven't doubts. Think of everyone who felt this and more. And I know that we're poor, but if you keep interrupting, I'm gonna cry. Boys are going fishing. Well, hopefully. We could just be going feeding. <laughs> Weekend warrior. We go to five. Oh shit. Oh, it's already been worth the 500 bucks of being on fishing gear. What do you got, Willie? Blue Trevally. About to fill it up. Probably make a hash job. Says they miss getting it on the camera because they're all a little bit too excited. Too shocked, honey. Too shocked. Too, too shocked. shocked. <laughs> we would not expect <laughs> to catch a fish. <laughs> She's a beauty. Small chopping board makes it look real big. Get your small hands in there too and make it look big as well. She's pretty. <laughs> When I wake up, well I know I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the girl who wakes up next to you When I go out We've just woken up to our resident fisherman Getting us some morning breakfast of squid Bye. How long have you been up here for? Two cups Well, he's got all this fancy gear and Adam's just got a bit of nylon. And a squid, <laughs> like lure, proper squid lure. Oh, this, uh, but this is like slimy what's on my face. It's not salt water, isn't it? Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, he literally shot me in the face. <laughs> I got squid juice all over it. All over your right chest, I see it. It's like glue. It's not like neurotoxin. <laughs> this guy's really jizzing out everywhere. Look at him go. <laughs> Oh, Adam, what have you done? Oh, that oh my god! He's still juicing, stop inking, mate! So fatty. I can't believe they're firing fire that stuff. I've still got my face pissed off. <laughs> look at this, look at this. Look at that. Oh, it's incredibly effective, huh? <laughs> Made for purpose. Three. Three lovely little squid. Big squid. Actually. Big squid actually, aren't they? Yep. I'm pretty sure this one is a cuttlefish or a squid because it's got in here a bone, a backbone of some sort. But Which we have to cut out. Yeah, and we can't eat it. Come on, bone. Yeah. Wow. Can't eat that. We've seen these heaps, just sort of mixing them and they haven't bothered to put them in the What happened there, mate? No cigar. Going up. Time for a coffee. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Same thing with you all the time. Whatever. Why do you want sunscreen? It's raining. Because it's going to stop raining. <laughs> so the boys are taken off very excitedly to go and scour the inner reef for crayfish and they've left me to listen to some ridiculous tunes uh, and get some exercise done. Give me, give me that sunshine, sunshine. Give me, give me them good That's what we got, hun. Woohoo! This big boy. He's massive. And his friend. Oh my goodness. Look at this big boy. 
first crayfish we got in Minerva and it's a monster. Very happy with that. One more on the bucket out back. I'm just going to cook this guy up first and then uh, hopefully get some more. It's all nice beautiful sand out here. Then the, the reef pops up to about a one or two metre ledge and there's long caves that go in all the way into the reef and there's lots and lots of these sitting in all the caves. Some of them impossible to get, like the cave gets too narrow to get your body in. Uh, and so that you can see these huge crayfish hanging out at the back and you just can't get to them. But this guy, he was in a rather deep cave that I could crawl in and get all the way to him. So he hid in the wrong spot. <laughs> We're just heading out to do the only thing I think there is to do in this reef, uh, and that's snorkel. Geared up, ready to go. About to go for a snorkel. Oh, she's a bit <laughs> tight. It's the boat diet. It is the boat diet. Too many chia seeds. I got a bad desire. Tell me now, baby, is he good to you? And can he do it to you? Things I do, oh no. I will take you higher. No, I'm on fire. Sucking wet and a freight train running through the middle of my head on me can cool my desire. I know I'm on fire. Minerva Reef is approximately 3 miles in diameter and sits 250 nautical miles south of Tonga. Its ownership is under current dispute and cruisers often frequent it for its turquoise waters, rich sea life and that feeling that you truly are in the middle of absolute nowhere. We walked from the inside to the outside of the reef to the Pacific Ocean side, which, at about 200 metres wide, creates a perfect sheltered harbour for yachts to anchor behind and savour the lagoon's treasures. New Zealand, somewhere over there. Best not let it slip away. 
Sitting here patiently in Minerva, the forecast has uh, strong southwesterlies at the moment, so we're tucked up here in 20 to 25 knots, rather comfortable. Nah. So the forecast at the moment has a little push of uh, strong breeze from the southwest come through, and uh, that's going through right now. It should be gone by the morning, so we plan on departing on uh, Thursday, the 1st of November. We will be heading pretty much due west, uh, trying to get as much westing as we can before there's a second push with this uh, low pressure system. And the further west we are, the more east of the breeze will be. So hopefully we can get a couple hundred miles west. The second push will come through. We'll be able to take that. And as that push turns, uh, we'll be able to turn and start heading southwest and then south towards New Zealand. Overall, be a little bit uncomfortable the first 24 hours with a little bit of uh, upwind or just a little crack sheet. Then uh, after that we'll be plain sailing with the uh, reaching and motoring. So nothing too stressful, nothing too uncomfortable. So it should be a rather pleasant trip which will hopefully allow us to catch lots of fish and uh, maximise the entertainment without feeling a little bit ill. Hull clean, take one. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go around the boat on the top side. You follow me, Willie. I'm going to do this first three inches. Why can't I do that? No, because I want to do that because it's a more precise. I don't want you to get the blame for taking all the paint off. <laughs> Coming from the guy who doesn't know what Jif is. <laughs> we had to make sure our hull was spotless before entering New Zealand waters for biosecurity reasons. So Minerva was the perfect spot to get her ship shape. What have you got there? Two monster crays, two more in the bucket. Thanks, Minerva Reef. <laughs> Courtesy of Adam. <laughs> that, that's good. That there's probably, is... for every cray in the hole, there's a white tip shark in a hole. Really? Yeah. But they had pay no interest. Oh. Anyway, time it's to cook them, time to eat them. Nom 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 nom. Well, you said three meters. Yeah. That's oh, well. insane. Oh, How do you back out with your big fins on? can't, that's why I hit my head. Uh, <laughs> you just use your arms to try and yeah. push yourself back. I wish, kind of wish I had smaller fins for that. Yeah. You were three metres in a hole? Yeah. Oh. No, I, had the, I made my eyes on them all the time. Okay. Woo! Nice ass. Still Start fine. calling you Mochik because you've got a mohawk between your cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> hey Mochik. Doesn't fit in our pot. Unfortunately, so we've had to go to the neighbours to get a pot from them. I just wanted to give him a little measure while we wait. His body, well, I mean, end of the antler if it was there, is 70 centimetres. Absolutely. Third one back, 8 centimetres. There we go. We grabbed some friends to go fishing and snorkeling in the Minerva Reef Pass. I never knew something so well, we got Willie on shark watch. Yep. He's gonna be hanging just goggles. out. He's gonna be hanging just outside everybody, making sure that uh, if one does come he sees it first. Thank you. You got a little bit of meat scrap you're hanging off your belt. <laughs> <laughs> Human lure. If you hear him scream, get in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Don't worry bro, we'll tie a rope to you so we'll pull your body in. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't she go? It was tied to the night by chain So now I'm begging the ocean Swallow me whole Cause I can't take the notion Of letting you go And 
Sometimes I feel it Love that piercing glare Well it cuts through my armor And it leaves me bare When I'm scared I'm excited But when I'm not I'm numb I just can't choose this evening Cause with good, bad comes I wanted this sunshine It came with rain I wanted the daylight It was tied to the night by chain So now I'm begging the ocean Won't you swallow me whole can't take the notion of letting you go and being by myself and what if I can't dream of anything look what he got else? her So there's one little stretch of sand um, that pokes its head above the water one or two hours either side of low tide. So we have organized a potluck for all the boats in the reef to head over there about five o'clock um, and spend some quality time together before we all shoot our way over to New Zealand. What have we got, chefs? Well, we fush. have got fish. We got fush. We have a coconut cori coriander. What do you got there, Tim? And what we have here is olive oil, salt and pepper, garlic, tomato, and parsley to dress. Mm. We're ready for the barbecue. And about, oh, just poked his head above the water. The beach is now open. <laughs> There's our little sandy patch. <laughs> so little. Pretty picturesque, eh? Yeah. This is glamour. Oh 